it's me again. I'm just enjoying my Sunday and thought um, I'll inspire you with something related to travel. So many of you who follow me know that I am a travel addict. I love to travel. I've been to 11 countries in the last 10 years and uh, it's just an experience of a lifetime anytime I have the opportunity of traveling. But a lot of you say to me, God, I wish I can travel. I wish I can find a way. How do you do it? Well, a lot of times it's just making that focus, you know. Travel these days, if you follow travel patterns, is not as expensive as you think, you know. I think about six, seven years ago I had a chance to go to Italy, and I am based in Oregon, but there was a ticket that went from Seattle to Milan. Uh, it was $250 plus tax round trip. Yep. $250 <laughs> and so one of the things I do is my strategy is I follow travel blogs to look at when the deals are happening my favorite is airfarewatchdog.com because every day they um, indicate the top 50 fares going out in the country and then you can also look at fares within your own state I also love travel zoo but I am forever studying it the other thing I'll share is a little secret of mine I always follow national disasters and international disasters and you're going to say why would you do that well fortunately or unfortunately um, you know a lot of times whenever there is a national or international disaster usually that's when airlines um, discount a lot hotels discount a lot and it's really the best time to go and really um, contribute back to the economy of the country or the state that has really gone through a struggle so in my way you know it's kind of a win-win because you know, I know for a fact that um, the tourism usually is impacted significantly um, after a difficult situation. And so, it, you know, it, it gives me an opportunity to go at a, a fairly low cost, but also um, experience um, an environment after um, a, a situation that has happened, but not in a way of exploiting it, but in a way of saying, I'm here to to celebrate it and to say you know what there are going to be tourism and tourist people coming back and um, you know give them a, a sense of hope so that's been my um, secret and if you follow a lot of my <laughs> travel patterns uh, a lot of where I've gone um, has had a catastrophe but then um, you know I get to see it in a different way so anyway it's my way of just sharing a little bit of um, why I travel and how I make the decision of where to travel. And my next place is going to be um, New Zealand and Tahiti. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I look forward to just seeing, you know, all the new, um, the new places that I've never been to. And it's, it's sort of another way that, um, adds another flavor of, of who I am as a person and helps me to see the world as a, as a really connected environment as opposed to being disconnected. All right, I gotta go back and work out. <laughs>